folk. Um, just coming on to do a quick card tutorial. Excuse my voice, it's really bad tonight. Um, I'm going to start doing a card series. Um, probably once a week. But there may be a couple posted at once. So it will tie out. Um, so the first one I'm going to start with is Sympathy. The reason being it's one of the hardest cards to put together. It's one of the most requested cards as well. Because sadly, at some point over the year, we've all got to say goodbye to someone. So, what I've done, I've got an A6 card. I buy them pre-scored. This is Paper Mania. And I buy them in packs of 50. Um, you can get them in white, cream and card craft. Craft, card, even. Then I've got black, just card stock, it's a pretty decent one, and another layer of white. My layers I've put at, um, I think, should I not have to find somewhere? Maybe I didn't. Right, so a basic A6 card is 10.5 centimetres by 14.8 centimetres. So, what I done was I cut this one, which is my first layer, and I took half a centimetre off each side. Just the two sides, sorry. So that brought it down to 10 centimetres by 14.3 centimetres. Then we've we'll got this one. And I brought this down by a centimetre. So this is 9.5 centimetres by 13.8. Okay, and it just gives it a really nice because the sympathy card just trying to keep it as plain as possible but showing that there's detail in it. So I'm just going to put this together and I'm not going to round any corners on this. Um, ordinarily, I probably would, but I don't think it needs that. Because of the leaving colours. I'm just using my ATG gun. If anyone is struggling to hear me, I will be doing um the description bar will have step by step instructions. Um, what I've done here is I have cut out um, a few butterflies and these are a crafty individual die and it's called Lace Wing Butterfly. I'm not sure if it's still available, I've had it for a number of years. And what I've done is I've cut it out in white but I've also cut it out in black. What I would suggest is if it's for a 
female or for a child, which heaven forbid it's not. But sadly it does happen now and again. I would say use the white. If it's for a gentleman, um, I would maybe use the black. Um, this is a slight paralyzed cap. I'll just show you what I mean before I pour anything down. I'll call these bits. It drives me bananas. I like this butterfly, it's a nice size for a main feature on a card without it getting lost. Mm. Then I've cut out these wee flourishes, and the flourishes were from a Sussex dye, and it was vine and lace too. Vine and leaf too, sorry. And what I would do is just add that. Maybe like that. Okay. If it's for a gentleman, it's the exact same layout. Just the black. Just the black. And that's basically looking like a trim. And you could trim these bats off if you wanted to make it look even more trail like. Or if you wanted, you can turn that. Whichever you suit. Um, there's no right or wrong. But, um, I'm just going to do a white one. And I think that looks pretty. Um, and for my sentiments, how would I put it? These were ones that Melissa Gibson sent me. And I've just, I'm going to mat it on black card. Simple as that. I think I actually might chop this down a wee bit. You just trim these edges parts off so that it does look like a trim. I'm quite annoyed on us. Most pairs of crafts of the went walkies from my room today. Because I spent most of my day in bed. Um, somebody's come in and helped herself. I'm going to get a smaller pair of scissors for that. Just being for my kitty.
my bit of my dinner in there. I might actually just leave it without the, the flourish. Yeah, this, this is just the uh, the Kura quickie glue pen, and I don't use it very often unless it's for something detailed. Um, I'm just turning my tiny wee bit off the edge. And then I'll just glue this to it. And again I'm just using this pen because it's just much quicker. It might just take a few minutes to stick. Any wee bits that haven't stuck, just go back in and add a wee tiny spot. Okay.
to the core. And I'll just add a few down here, just to keep it tied in. Maybe I'll add three in there. These are just self adhesive um, pair of stickers. I'm just going to add them at this side. And lastly, just to make my butterfly stand out a wee bit, just going to add some stickles, which is, don't be afraid to add a wee bit of glitter and a sympathy card. Um, as long as it's not garish colours, it's absolutely fine. Yeah, I'm not doing any more there. So that's my card. And as you'll see, butterfly is sparkly. But it's very classy. It's not over the top. The petals add just that tiny wee bit extra. But it's elegant and simple. And it says what it needs to say. Um, inside, what I normally do is print off a small poem or verse and then leave enough space for the person to sign the card. And I just put a wee bit of tape along the top, just stick it down as an inlay. I don't put a double sided inlay in mine, but each to your own can do it either or. Okay, so I will leave in the description 
step by step of how I achieve this cap and the materials I use to get that. Okay, thanks for watching, thank you for subscribing and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.